is uh, an introduction into Audacity audio editing tool. Okay, so this is going to be the first page that you see when you open up Audacity. And um, I just want to kind of give you a quick overview of what some of the basic tools are. Uh, we're not going to actually go over every single thing in Audacity. That would require an entire class. Audacity can be pretty easy, but also has a lot of sophisticated tools. So we're just going to go over the basics that's going to help you with this project. So I um, just want to point out over here, okay, some familiar things that you might have seen before, like on a VCR or a DVD player or a CD player, okay? Like over here you have the, the button to go back. Over here you have your play button, okay? This is going to be your record button. That's going to be something that you're going to want to pay attention to. This is your pause button, and then this is your stop button, okay? And this is to go forward. Okay, so when you're going to want to record, okay, you're going to you're going to want to have your microphone plugged in, and then click record, and then you're going to see that once you start talking, some squiggly lines will come up here on the screen, and you'll know that you're recording. So it might be a good idea to test it out first, and then go from there. Okay, and then over here you're going to see that you have your volume, okay, for basically what you're going to hear. Okay, you can click click on it and scroll up and down you see it tells you what your volume is okay so all I'm doing is clicking and dragging clicking and dragging and then this next to the volume is your um, microphone volume okay and that is the same thing so you can adjust it maybe uh, for whatever reason you want it to be a little bit louder you can do that as well okay um, another thing that I want to um, direct you to is if you want to bring in a song, which a lot of you are probably going to want to do that, you're going to want to go to Project and then add a new audio track. Okay, and you'll see that this comes up down here. All right, and then you can actually create an audio track um, in addition to something that you have right there. Okay, so but I'm going to go ahead and close this for right now. Okay, you can click on this X right there and close that. Now, if I do have something that I want to import, Okay, I can come to project again and do import audio. Okay, if I know exactly what, what song I want, I can click on import audio and then a window will pop up. Okay, this is in Windows and uh, Mac will be basically similar to this. Okay, you're going to want to find out where your um, music files are kept. And then, let's see, I've got some Rod Stewart in there. <laughs> um, and then simply click on it and do open. And then it should import the song that you want. Okay, into, into the track list, and then you see there, here is my song, okay, and I could simply play it, okay, just by coming like that, all right, and then I could stop it, all right, you can see the thing moving there, okay, and I can stop it just like that, okay, so, and then I can record my, I can record a voice one, okay, right over there, so let's go ahead and I'm going to get rid of this. Okay, and then I can record a voice on another track beneath it. So then I would do new audio track, just like I said. Down below here, it's waiting for me to create a new track by clicking record. So testing, testing, and you can see it coming up. All right. Testing, so test, testing, test. testing, testing. Okay. And it will go as long as you let it go. All right. Now, let's say, for example, I have this Rod Stewart song, but I don't actually want pieces of it in it, okay? And this is the beauty of, of, um, of this audio editing tool is that, you know, you can, you can very easily edit th certain parts out, okay? So let's say I decide that this is the part that I don't want, you know, maybe there's some parts of the music or something like that. What I do is I take my mouse to where I want it, okay, and I click and drag, you'll notice it gets highlighted, okay? So I'm gonna go right up to the minute marker, okay? You can see up top, top here, you have how long the song is. All right, so I'm gonna go right up to the one minute marker, and I can do any number of things at this point. If I wanna delete it, I simply hit the delete key, okay? If I wanna copy it or cut it or something like that, okay, I can come over here to edit and do all of these things here, all right? Cutting is just like cutting in Microsoft Word, where you cut it and then you can paste it someplace else. Copying it is basically copying it. It doesn't actually get removed, and then you paste it someplace else. Trimming is basically you're cropping that particular one out, and everything else around it gets eliminated. 
okay? And then you can also delete it, you can silence it, you can do all kinds of things. If you want to delete it, one quick way to do it is to just hit the delete key, all right? But I'm going to do it this way so you can, so you can see it. Hit delete, and now it's gone, okay? So you can, you can do a lot of neat things with this because you know, there's going to be a lot of things when you're recording your, your voice that you, know, you might not really want. So you say, well, I just want to delete that. So you don't have to do the entire thing all over again. You can do it in different stages. Okay? You can really you can be you know, kind of a nice editor there. Okay? Now I'm going to keep going with this. Now another uh, tool that you can use is the Zoom tool. That's going to be really good for when you want to get really precise Okay, and, and very, very intimate, if you will, with, with um, each little wavelength you see here. Okay? So I'm going to click on the zoom tool. The plus will allow me to get closer and closer and closer into each of, of the wavelengths, okay? into each little sound that's in there so I can be very precise about which part I want to take out because maybe there's a little extra noise in there. I can be very precise about it. Okay, notice here it's 32 and a half seconds and 33 seconds. This is a half a second right here for me to just come right out and then come over here to edit and do deletes. Okay, you can do that or you can hit the delete key, whatever you'd like to do. <laughs> okay, and then the last thing I'm going to show you, and I'm going to allow you to play with this on your own, okay, is the effects all right there's a lot of stuff you can do do here but notice everything is grayed out why is it grayed out because nothing is selected okay once again you have to click and drag okay for whatever you want okay and now this is selected i come over to effect everything is nice and bold for me and i could do any of these things so i'm going to encourage you to just experiment with these things okay and then change some of the specifications on it and you have all these things this is an incredible tool totally free so I think that should get you going with Audacity. Um, watch this video over and over again. Experiment with it. Have fun. And um, yeah, have a great time. Thanks.